church. What comes to mind when you hear the word church? A building? An event? A charity? A social club? Something nice to do on a Sunday morning? Or maybe something more? What's the purpose of the church? Why are we here? The word church means the gathering of people with a purpose. We are called to embody Jesus to each other and the world around us. The church is its best when we follow Jesus and love others, when we introduce people to the Jesus-centered life. This is the most loving thing we can do. This has been our experience. As a church, we've been our best when we've loved others in ways that are generous, countercultural, and other-centered. This is who God has created the Meeting House to be. It's what inspired a small church to challenge religious culture and become a church for people who aren't into church. It drove us to launch our first mission, to look beyond the walls of one building and consider a new way of doing church in multiple locations. It motivated us to rethink what it means to be compassionate and donate millions to partner with the most vulnerable people in our world. And it moved us to invest time and resources in producing curriculum to disciple not only our kids and youth, but thousands of students across North America and beyond. This is our story. We are a movement compelled by Jesus' command to go and make disciples. It's how we love people. Amen. But our story is still being written. God is still calling us to embody Jesus to the world around us. And we believe that he's calling us to do this in new and innovative ways, to take our focus on evangelism and discipleship to the next level. The world is always changing. Our culture, our cities, our families are evolving. If we want to love people, then we need to go to them. This is why we want to boldly invest in equipping our church family to creatively engage with people in our communities who've never meaningfully encountered the good news of Jesus. And we embrace the opportunity we've been given to go beyond our borders, partnering and uniting with others to make more disciples and advance the kingdom further than we can on our own. This is a game changer. We are called to love others. And the most loving thing we can do is to introduce spiritually curious people to the Jesus-centered life. And we can't do this alone. We do this in community, through a movement of Jesus-centered churches. It won't be easy, but this is good work. The best thing we can do for our neighbors, our world, and our own discipleship is to not make this about ourselves, but to go out and love others. This is who we are. This is what God calls us to. So let's go.